Hey Leos, how y'all doing? Welcome. We are gonna be taking a look at your Scorpio season messages here. So as you can see, we have the death key representing Scorpio season, but of course in the home position. So we're gonna be taking a look at where you are, what's coming up to be released, and then what is the gift on the other side of you releasing it, and then your advice moving forward. Because this season, as we go towards Samhain slash Halloween, Scorpio season, is very much about the things that are coming up for release from your life, and then, you know, what's coming up that's expired that you really, you know, definitely wanna release, but also within that same lens, what's coming up as expired that wants to be renewed, that wants to be revisited, that wants to be refurbished. <laughs> so to speak, because that is death key energy, right? It's endings and beginnings. So we're going to start with where you are now. Beautiful lions, where are you for Scorpio season? Where are you? Oh, wow. Someone else got this. Pisces got this. Brilliant. So if you have a prominent Pisces position, maybe check that one out as well. So Knight of Pentacles. So I, I'm very excited to see this. Um, I'm very excited to see this. First of all, look at the look at the likeness here with the two horses, with the Death King and the, and the Knight of Pentacles, and the white and the black, and the, and the aspect of balance. Beautiful. So Knight of Pentacles, I'm very excited to see it because the Knight of Pentacles, I have to say, is my favorite knight. Um, the reason being, he can be incredibly frustrating. Uh, he or she can be incredibly frustrating. Um, because the Knight of Pentacles is focused on the present moment and the day-to-day. -day. Day to day progress, day to day actions, day to day movements that is more focused on, you know, the day itself in terms of I care more about the journey than the destination. I care more about the process over the product, right? They don't, they're really not concerned about, you know, thinking ahead or racing off ahead or, or, you know, feeling uncomfortable at any given pace. They can't be peer pressured into anything or forced into anything. They simply do what they do at their own pace and they understand that the only responsibility they have is to themselves and showing up for themselves every day and going about their tasks as they see fit. So it feels like you are in alignment or in tune to maybe slowing it down and really looking the pace at the pace in which you move and how has it served you or been a disservice to you, right? Interesting. Especially as a Leo is a fire sign with that, you know, very fiery uh, energy. If you're coming up as a Knight of Pentacles, you could be getting this memo that it's like, wow, what might happen if I if I looked at my pacing and the way in which I went about life a bit, right? Outside of obligation, outside of my own sense of like, you know, what I learned about success from my parents or society or work ethic, what is right for me on a day-to-day -day basis? You are one of the signs that do not need to worry about, and I really hate this word, but really have to worry about being lazy or complacent, I should say, right? So if you're being called to slow down or, or look at, at how your pacing is, it's only going to benefit your physical health, which pentacles are about, but then also, you know, result in longer term gains, right? So let's see what's coming up to be released during this season. <laughs> right, someone else got this, Scorpio got this. Okay, in this position. So Knight of Swords, you got another horse here. You got three horses here. Which, by the way, let's just talk about it because it's three, right? So horse medicine is very much about personal freedoms and allowing yourself to go with the flow at any given time as it relates to your own personal compass or your own personal metronome, right? These horses are beautiful energy, but if it's, if it's constricted or if it's overly pushed upon or, or impeded upon, it, it, it's, it's going to bite, it's going to kick, it's going to try to break out of whatever confines that it's been placed in, right? It's, it's a beautifully giving energy, but it needs to maintain its own freedom. So there's something about this. You know, Knight of Swords is about being a, a bit impulsive with the communication or the word choice, but this really brings to mind how our words can be sharp. Using words as weapons, right? And this is coming up to be released. Look at how that horse is looking at that knight. Like, are we sure about this? Do we just want to go on? And what's interesting about this as well is this is a fast-paced movement. This is like that that verbal diarrhea where it's like, blah, blah, or feeling the need to just go, 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 right? But you're coming through as the Knight of Pentacles. So this might come up for release for you in some really interesting ways. 
where you might want to reconsider your word choice, how you talk to yourself, how you communicate with yourself, the standards that you hold yourself to, where you learn those from, and then how you communicate your needs and your thoughts to others around you. So I'm, I'm hearing something that I learned about uh, pretty recently, and I cannot cite the source, unfortunately, because I don't know um, what, what the source is. But it's about this concept of the three gateways of communication, where before we speak, we can consider number one, is it true? Number two, is it necessary? Number three, is it kind? Is it true? Is it necessary? Is it kind? I feel like you're being asked to consider those things with the Knight of Swords in this position, right? But when this comes up to be released, really check your pacing and consider, you know, how you move forward and communicate to yourself and others. And, and also, you know, kind of the harsh standards that you may be holding yourself to in some way, shape or form. But again, this is about communication with yourself and others, right? Let's look at the gift. Let's look at what comes as a result of letting that Knight of Swords take a seat. <laughs> what comes as a result? Oh, the Hermit in reverse. Well, hello and goodbye. Okay. So the Hermit in the upright, I'm gonna put it in the upright for a moment. The Hermit in the upright position is Virgo energy, right? That star in the lantern is the star from the Aquarian key, which is great hope, great faith, great love, psychic energy, good health, wish fulfillment, right? But the Hermit is also about being alone, being in one's own solitary energy, asking those questions, being available for the answers. You know, I, I gotta say this, Leo, I'm feeling that there, there's, there is being in the Hermit energy where it's really constructive, and then there's also being in the Hermit energy as a result of feeling like, you know, no one can really embrace you where you are and your point like of experience. like. No one's going to understand where I am. No one can really relate. No, there's no one that's really going to see eye to eye. There's no one that gets me or there's no, right? It's that feeling of like enforced hermit mode where it's like, I, I don't, I'm not feeling like I'm in a place where I can either communicate my needs or if I do communicate them, they're not going to be met anyway. So that's the hermit in reverse in a way, right? With that shadow energy of it. But as it's coming up for you in terms of the gift of releasing the Knight of Swords, <sighs> I feel like if you take a look at how you communicate and get your own needs met and consider your situation from another lens, it's going to open you up to a lot of new partnerships and possibilities that you didn't see before. Because there's a feeling here of feeling isolated or feeling like needing to go it alone or feeling like, you know, on this path, is there anyone who can really like help or join or understand me, right? <clears throat> so with this hermit energy coming as a gift, I feel like it's inviting you back to an aspect of life that maybe you haven't been in in a minute. So you could be invited to join a group, be a part of a community, um, get a sort of partnership that feels really reciprocal right? And it comes as a result of really examining your communication and your thought processes, right? But it feels like in some way, beautiful Leos, in some way, whether this is physical, mental, spiritual, emotional, you've been on your own <laughs> in some way, shape, or form. And it's not just, you may have not even been alone physically, but you can be around other people and feel lonely, right? Or feel alone, right? Sometimes that's worse than actually being alone and feeling alone is being around other people and feeling alone. But there has been some aspect of your experience within which you have felt alone. And that that can really be flipped upside down and brought into oneness as opposed to separation. I feel like we're talking about going from some sort of separation to oneness of a sort. Let's look at your advice. <laughs> it's like so funny you you have like three out of four nights here what night are you missing knight of cups interesting so knight of wands your fiery selves coming in here as your own advice so this is really which is interesting because this is a quick into pace but what i'm getting from this is the wands are about our soul right this is about our physical experience and our resources this is about our mind and our communication this and the truth, 
This is about our soul. What are we here to do? What is, what is your purpose, right? How aligned are you with your purpose, right? What gets you passionate? What is your own personal fire? How do you stoke it? What does it need? What gets you excited? What do you do when you look up and the hours have flown? You're being asked to really connect to whatever really, really excites you. And what's really brilliant about this, Leo, why I'm really obsessed with this, is you're, you're doing this in a way and being called to do this in a way where you take your time exploring what that is and what it could look like. It's, it's like you're connecting to the source of desire and, and you know inspiration within you from a place of not rushing and non-judgment and curiosity and exploration. I do feel like you're being called to open yourself up to connections in a new way. I feel like you have a lot more resources at your disposal that maybe you aren't aware of or haven't tapped into as much, but they're right there. I can feel it, it's right there for you. So there's an aspect of this that says as well, tap into what really matters and excites you because that is the best part of your own personal compass, right? It's really, really beautiful, Leo. I'm excited for you. So with that being said, I'm sending you so many blessings for Scorpio season. Thank you so much for being here. And most of all, and as always, thank you for being you. And be well. Until next time.